here. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite guy who showed up way late to the party's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the MMC Insecticons. Now, shrapnel comes with two extra faces. One is like a smirk, and one is a full-on happy face, and they all come with their own individual firearms that we'll talk to when we get to the bugs individually. But for right now, I just want to say shout out to Robert D, dear friend of mine. He let me borrow these to take a look at and for better or worse, let's say. I also want to point out that I hate the yellow legs on shrapnel and I am guaranteeing you that the reason why they're yellow is because they were on the same sprue as this stuff and they just needed to make room. That is my my guess because there's no other reason to have them there and it's just a cost saving thing. And I'm not sure how they feel about this set, MMC, but I get the idea from some of it that they weren't fully believing in it. So let's talk about them and then we'll do some final thoughts. Okay, so he stows his weapon down in here. Plugs in fine. Much better than it does in his hands. Take my word for it. You have this joint here for the back grasshopper legs and then this for the feet. And then you have, you know, the same leg articulation that we'll get to when we get to the robot you have the shoulders on the swivel and then you have this tight little soft ratcheted hinge here for the arms and then you have an, a hinge two hinges well this is actually a ball peg so it's a hinge here a ball peg and then a, another hinge there so they're the they're very well articulated the little bug legs um mainly for transformation, but I think it still gets credit for it, of course. And then you have nothing really for the head because this is locked in place, and then the wings, of course, are on swivels. Okay. So let's get him transformed. Pull the feet down. Extend the legs. Fold in the feet, and then these have to fit kind of right in that pocket. Uh, you, they can't just go straight in. you got to find the right place, which is fine. And then this part, which is uh, not the most fun. But you have to line up the grasshopper wings so that it opens the channel to release the backpack. Now, if you have trouble getting to the backpack, you can open up the chest and kind of push. Much like gravity, all you need is a little push. Open that up there. And then fold out the arms. And when these come around, it's like these have to fold up all the way like this. And then these wrap around it. And it has to be like just right. Maybe this has to go this way. Yeah. Maybe this has to go down this way. And then this one. It has to spin around. Yeah, like that. Okay. I'm not sure if that's going to work. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. So we'll do the other side as well. Spin them around. And it's just, for me, it's just hard to stay oriented. But you know how that goes. All right. So this folds down and down. And then these fold around. And you're just trying to compact this the best way you can. Why am I having troubles again? Oh, I guess it's the other way. Like, I guess it only works one way. Is that possible? Who knows? There. All right. So, yes, that works. So then we fold these around, and then these should sit up together, and then they'll fold down in. And it's just, it's just a little challenging to make sure it's all kind of compacted as the best it can be. So let's try. And we'll get these arms out of the way. There. And then this piece comes down and sort of locks the backpack in place, which is nice. Revealing the face that you turn around, rotate the wings back. And then this part, which is really dumb. 
So you got to pull the hand out and then grab it by the fingers, which are attached to a base pin knuckle for the articulation and pull it out. Like I'm just not comfortable with the amount of force it takes to pull on this hinge. Like that's where the pressure is going. Uh, I'm, I'm just personally not comfortable with it. And that's him. I'll get him cleaned up. We'll take a look at him. All right. So let's talk about him. He doesn't really hold his gun that well. Uh, not on the one that I have, you know, and let's see. No, no, not really well at all. So that's a bummer. The head is on a ball peg. You get actually a fair amount up, surprisingly, a little bit down. And then the swivel, the antennas are on swivels. Nice metallic red paint for the visor. Nice silver paint for the face. That looks great. Wings are on swi swivels, obviously. The shoulders are on universals for the most part. Swivel here all the way around and out to there. Not the greatest sculpt, but it works ultimately. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow. Not the prettiest once again, but effective. And then no wrist swivel, right? No. No. So that's a bummer. And then the fingers are on a base pen knuckle. Be careful of them. And this one doesn't really lock in place that well. Yellow plastic, black plastic, black plastic, purple plastic. Chromed wings, which look nice. Waist swivel. Universals for hips. Ratcheted outward. Uh, and swivel front and back again, which is strange. We're not really seeing companies do that. Usually they're ratcheting forward and back and not out to the side, but this is the second MMC figure I've looked at recently that's done that, or third perhaps. Thigh swivel. Ratcheted knee hinge getting you past 90 degrees, so that's fine. Ankle tilt up, nothing really down, and a little bit of a rocker. So, you know, kind of, I mean, it. you know, all the, all the nuts and bolts are there, you know, but... It's, it's not setting the world on fire in the articulation department. It's just sort of, you know, getting by, you know, limited ankle tilts, limited ankle rocker. Um, yeah, no, no wrist swivel. And we have shrapnel. So the pincer, the pincers here or mandibles or whatever they are, they're on hinges. These are on double hinges. You have to just make sure that you keep covering down on them and then you got these they hinge out this way they hinge this way this way all, all the legs in these bugs have tons of articulation but just ratcheted uh hinge soft ratchet hinge hinge ball peg hinge so there's tons of articulation um it, it does make transforming them a little bit of a um sloppy like but it, there's tons of articulation there you should be able to get everything your little heart desires gun plugs into the back okay Let's transform them. So the legs actually plug in in two places and there's a little cumbersome to get, but you can. And then this panel here slides down. And then this whole piece slides down here. And this folds in. And this bug leg comes around and folds down. You just have to, um, it's just a little frustrating because of all of the uh, articulation. Uh, let's see here. You know what I mean? Like it, it makes it less intuitive. <laughs> That'll do it. And then fold these out. And this folds up. And then this tabs back in. All right. Same for this side. Open up. Spin around. And it's just like these uh, soft ratchets are nice for bug mode, but they, they kind of just work against you. And uh, when you're transforming it, let's 
slide this up. That folds down. All right. This ain't right there. Same here. And then fold the feet out. Phew. Okay. So untab these arms and you can pull them out a bit, rotate them up, pull them out a bit, rotate them up, and that should give you the clearance to get his rib cage kind of around. Spin. And now these these arms, not not the robot arms, but the uh, the bug arms are just, you know, it's just another one of those things like, you know, I would just do them however you want. I've seen a number of different ways of doing them. I've seen people online doing them a number of different ways. But, you know, just mess with it and find a one that works for you. I think the instructions have it like in a in a diagonal kind of way like this. You know, something like that. But just mess with it on your own and find a thing that you like for it. And then let's see, these flaps open up. And then you can spin the hand out, which is uh, not the worst, not the worst way of doing business. I had a little tool, and I already lost it. Spin them back. Spin them back. Rotate the mandibles up to reveal the face. I'll get him cleaned up. We'll take a look at him. And let's go through his articulation. He holds his gun just fine. And nice chrome on the... Uh, somebody always corrects me. Whatever that is. And then on the thighs. I'm not sure if I like it on the thighs, to be honest. Uh, it might be a bit much, but it is there and it is applied nicely. So the head is on a hinge swivel. Uh, the, this, the hinge is a little loose, but uh, it does work. And then nice red metallic paint for the visor, nice silver metallic paint for the face. These articulate and these articulate independently. These uh, top ones here. This one's a little loose. Shoulders, you have a ball peg inside the torso, like a SH Figuar is coming out to a disc disc hinge. So you get a fair amount of articulation there, which is nice. You get this whole kind of ball joint, and then you get the additional hinge, and then it'll also swivel at the ball joint. So that's actually really well done. Bicep swivel, single hinged elbow that gets you a great range. Wrist swivels here, and that's about it. Fingers are on a base pen knuckle, like the rest of them. No pain on the arms, no pain on the chest, no pain on the torso, no pain on the abdomen, no pain on the pelvis, no pain on the legs. Mm -mm -mm. And then yellow. And then we have a waist swivel. We have universals for hips. Get you the full Monty, I mean the full Van Damme and pretty much the full Monty. Thigh swivel is, a, is built around the universal. That works fine. Single hinge knee that gets you 90 degrees just about. And then ankle, we got toe tilt here at the front, heel tilt, and then a, a great ankle rocker. That'll get you all the ankle rocker you need. And then there it is from the back. You know, and you can manipulate these any way you want. I'm not sure which way the instructions have them, to be honest, but... There's a number of different ways you can manipulate these around. You know, it's just uh, it's just not the best. One other thing I want to mention is because of the cut of the thigh, it's really hard to get the leg out to the side and then the knee turned around to get him posed. So you kind of like always are at an angle, like he's jumping. It's just a bummer. It's 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 just not well done. All right, for this fella, we got all these little bug legs here, which have all sorts of joints on them. So we have a swivel for the front ones. We have a swivel, soft ratchet hinge, ball peg, and then another hinge for the toe. And for this one, it's a soft ratchet, soft ratchet, ball peg, toe, 
and then we have a hinge, hinge, ball peg, soft ratchet. Like there, there's tons of articulation in them. I'm just not sure how much of it you would really need, but it's nice to have it there. Gun plugs into the back. And of course you get a soft ratchet here and then you get a hinge here. And that's pretty much it, which is fine. I think it's effective. So let's transform. We have the feet. Break this out, slide this down. You can separate these. Let's get this sorted out there. Spin this around. And then this comes up and that tabs into there. Same on this side. No big deal really. Fold this up, get the arms unpegged, which is not easy, but doable. Spin, 180. Bring the arms to the front. Open this, open that, bring the head out. As you do so, fold this up and this will, where is it? It's hard to see because of the chrome. It has a little place that it connects to. Get the arms out of the way, spin the head, fold this up. These pieces you can fold in like little side pieces and then you got to wrap like his flank around and then fold this piece in and then you just sort of get the bug legs covered down the best way you can and I'll do this off camera because there's just so many moving pieces there you just want to cover it up the best you can and then you got to pull the hands out. These move much smoother, Robert, than uh, kickbacks do. And then you can flip these guns around. On Now, I'm going to flip them back because this just looks like the type of stuff that I'd break, but you can do it. And this can articulate here on a hinge. And that's this fella. So let's talk about him. Holds the weapon just fine. Head is on a ball peg. The ball peg is on a hinge. So you get a fair bit up, a fair bit down. And then the swivel, nice silver paint for the head, red metallic paint for the eyes. Looks pretty good. Got a little outside the lines, but it's okay. Chrome thighs, chrome pelvis, which I'm not crazy about, but that's a subjective thing. Waist swivel, that works fine. We do actually have some black paint on the torso this time. So that's nice. We had the arms on a reverse butterfly. That's actually pretty cool. You know, it's better to get a little bit forward, but you even get a little bit forward. So I'm okay with that. Swivels here at the ball peg inside of this connection here. And then hinges outward. So that all works fairly well. Bicep swivel, single hinged elbow, get you past 90 degrees. Wrist, nothing. Fingers on a base pin knuckle like the rest of them. We got these great googa mooga. I guess you can get out to there. I think that's okay, actually. Forward and back to there. Single hinged knee, get you 90 degrees, so that's fine. The feet are terrible, but you get an ankle tilt on them, which is more than I can say for the other two. And you get a rocker. So they're at least effective, if not pretty. Um, and then I got this all mangled up here, but there you go. And then this, this can all be done differently as well. I'm just, I'm just giving you a quick overview, but it's just not the prettiest. And there they all are together. Ooh, I don't know. I mean, they don't look terrible, but yeah, this isn't, this isn't the best thing we've seen from this company. Not by a long shot. Now, since it's part of the reformatted line, there they are with the reformatted Megatron. And I don't think that works. You know, and, and we all know why. Um, we all know it's because this was never really intended to be part of the reformatted line. They just didn't want to make it part of the Masterpiece line because I guess they figured what was the point. But I don't really think that that works. 
uh, I think it's you know a round 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 hole square peg square peg round hole etc but like it's one of those situations and there they are next to the fans toys bugs you guys excuse my voice it's still recovering from TFCon but yeah it's just um, it's just really no comparison but what is nice looking at these is you know if you were building clones and an army of insecticons it is nice to have a little variety you know so that I can get behind Final thoughts wise, I gotta say, there's a lot of negatives here. I, I don't, let, let, let me try to go through each one and then I'll try to do, you know, the full picture. So I don't like the way that these pieces here tab in underneath Bombshell. I also find all the legs on them to be kind of obnoxious. Like, I understand that you need them for engineering and then it allows for the extra articulation. I just, it just makes it not fun to mess with, quite honestly. I don't think the th chrome on the thighs works at all. Once again, I'm guessing that's a sprue thing. They just chromed the whole sprue. Of course, I don't like the yellow legs on shrapnel that we've already talked about. And I think kickback kind of works the best. Now, they all feel different. They don't feel like the Studio Ox stuff that they've been doing, the Ocular Max, and they don't feel like the same heft and sturdiness as this Megatron. It just kind of feels like generally less. So, this was announced years ago and it's been a long wait. I think that they had committed and dumped too much money into making these and just felt like they had to finish them. Uh, it's either finish them or lose the investment and it would have been too much to lose the investment and it kind of shows. There's little to no paint. The articulation is pretty much there across the board. It's just some work better than others, you know, but there are things like the wrist swivels not working and, you know, limited ankle rockers here and there and no ankle tilts here and there. There are limitations and I don't feel like this really fits the reformatted. I think they were just trying to rebrand it in order to sell it because I really feel like this was their take at the Ocular Max Bugs. I think we all know that it was. Nothing was changed except for the brand name and maybe the love that went into the finish. So it was like uh, an exit strategy and it shows. Now, the price is decent for three. The alt modes are okay. The bot modes are okay. It's just, it's just a lot of okay. And the price point maybe equals okay. I don't know. But for me, if you're going to get one set of bugs, I definitely do not recommend these. However, if you're building a clone army of Insecticons, it's nice to have all three. So that's the only way that I personally recommend it. Once again, shout out to Robert D for letting me take a look at it for better or worse. Trust me, it's for worse. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.